Residents in Echo Park say a yoga studio is creating a not-so-zen parking situation in their neighborhood, and they're joining forces to find a fix. Those residents say their street fills up with cars to the point where they sometimes can't get out. Now they're pushing the city to take action. KTLA 5's Kimberly Chang is live in Echo Park with the story. Kimberly? Hi, they're fed up and they want something done. We spoke with some residents who have lived here more than 10 years. This is Aaron Street near Glendale Boulevard. As you can see right beside me, this is a steep, dead end, narrow road. Once you turn on the street, it's difficult to turn around. And residents say in the last few years, they've noticed that parking and traffic has only gotten worse. This is video from one of the residents on Aaron Street. Neighbors complain that since a yoga studio opened about six years ago, they've seen an influx of clients filling up their residential street in search of parking. Residents estimate there's hundreds of students attending classes per day. Some neighbors say they have found parked cars with damage caused by hit and runs. Neighbors sent photos showing cars blocking driveways, parked in front of a hydrant, double parked, even stopped on a little island between driveways. There they're fed up. Residents held neighborhood meetings, contacted their council member Hugo Soto Martinez for help, and are now in the process of collecting signatures on a petition. They want to establish a parking permit requirement here. Uh, there's not a lot of consideration for blocking driveways, hitting cars, blocking the street, and uh, it's pretty nerve wracking. Because the parking in the driveway. They, they, they don't respect. They block your driveway. Yeah, and don't respect. In the five or six years they've been open, my household has been victim to probably 15 hit and run incidents, including a total loss. So people running into parked cars. Yes, and then choosing to not leave a note because they're late to class or because they just don't see us neighbors as people. Now, according to Councilmember Soto Martinez's office, residents have started the process to establish what's called a preferential parking district, which would require permits on the street. In order to move on to the next step, residents would need to collect signatures from 75% of neighbors for at least six blocks. Moto Yoga says they're trying to find solutions and they've taken action in the past few months, including offering valet parking, reducing its yoga schedule, and offering incentives for students who bike or walk to the studio. Now, here's a state statement from Moto Yoga LA's executive director. Take a look. He says in part, they've been actively involved in the discussion with our local community. Since this location opened, we have regularly communicated to our members and visitors that parking is never guaranteed at the studio and that they should allow time before their classes to find suitable parking in the area. Now we're told uh, by a spokesperson for the council member's office that the decision to require permits on the street would ultimately be made by LADOT and according to the city, that process could take about two years. Reporting live in Echo Park, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News.